After beating out last year's champ, an eighth grader from Twin Peaks Middle School in Poway, Mr. Ben Evans, he is your champion because not only can he spell epihippus, epihippus, excuse me, he can also use it in a sentence. Ben, good morning. Good How morning. you doing? I'm doing good. Thanks for having me. Thank you. Epihippus. Ep epihippus, I think, Epi was the right one. You, man, you've never heard that word before that. Nope. Never. You admit it? I admit it. So how, did, <laughs> so how did you know to spell a word that you've never heard before? Um, really, it's a combination of things. You ask for what it means. It had something to do with horses, so that figured out. <laughs> and then it's just, you piece it, to, you piece it together from what I do know. It's like a puzzle. It's a puzzle, yeah. So a lot of times these spelling bee kids, like they've been doing this since they were super little, and then they study like millions of words. What was your strategy? Have you been doing this since you were little? So sixth grade was the first spelling bee I competed oh, wow, in. Oh, cool. I won my school, went to regionals, and same thing happened in seventh grade. I didn't win regionals either of those years, but honestly, sixth and seventh grade, I want to be completely honest, I barely studied at all. And, I, this, and this year... I decided, you know what, I'm going to study. I'm going to put some extra work in, in it. Good for you. And it, it paid, paid off. off. Yeah. Uh, explain, uh, what does that entail? When you say you're going to study for this in eighth grade, like are you talking about an hours a day or, or how many words? or what, what did that look like? Probably just one. It was usually just an hour, an hour and a half a day. That's not bad. Yeah. What do you do, read through the dictionary? I don't know how that works. So my dad and I, we have an app that it's got some like digital flashcards on it, and usually a pack of those takes oh, wow. like an hour, an hour and a half. So we just do that. That's pretty good. Yeah. Uh, is everybody in your house kind of a good speller? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Mom and Dad. <laughs> it's okay to say if your yeah, Mom and Dad are just, not good spellers. It's, mo mostly Dad. Mom, mom oh. knows this, too. Mostly Dad. Interesting. He did spelling bees and stuff growing up. Oh, really? Up, so. you, know, I, you know, it's not about me, but when I was in sixth grade, I got eliminated by a word in my school spelling bee. You want to know what that word was? What was it's embarrassing word? to say it now. What was the word? Inspiration. I know. I'm Go sorry. ahead. You can laugh. I'm sorry. Look at this guy. <laughs> I spelled it I N S P E R. -O. <laughs> can you believe that at this point in life I still think about that? Still, stop <laughs> laughing at me, man. <laughs> um, when you won and that moment sinks in, right? I mean, your reaction was priceless. Uh, how did you feel? Did you believe it in the moment? Like, oh my God, no, I did it. Not at all. I, it honestly still hasn't sunk in. Really? I'm just like, yesterday I was, I was dreaming all day. Yeah. Because like, I just went on, like, I, I did that, drove home, ate lunch, and went to basketball practice. <laughs> went to basketball practice? Basketball you you practice. play basketball? Yeah, yeah. basketball, yeah. Yeah, yeah I had practice, and then I had some games afterwards, yeah. Oh, nice. For your school? For, no, just for a church team. Oh, good for you. Yeah. You know, my kids played in that Poway Youth Basketball League. Oh. They played at Twin Peaks Middle. Wow. I do believe, if, unless I'm mistaken, it's about me again, uh, that's where I ruptured my Achilles heel. <laughs> at Twin Peaks Middle School. So there's that claim to fame. Uh, nice. Tell me about this big trip. You guys are going to D.C. now. Yeah. And we talked earlier, Scripps, uh, you know, they put together the spelling bee, but only one chaperone. So you have to pick. Those two folks over there have supported you your whole life. You can only take one uh, because they're only paying for one. So who you take? I don't know. Mom, mom, <laughs> mom thinks I'm taking her and Dad thinks I'm taking him. So I guess I'll just take both. Adam, that's a good answer. Very diplomatic. I found it interesting in talking to you before. Uh, you're good at your spelling, obviously, and you do your basketball. You're well-rounded. But what you said your favorite math and uh, math is your favorite thing yeah. in school. Yeah, that's pretty good. It's, I just I've never actually really loved English class. It's always kind of boring. Uh, see, that's not fair. See, kids <laughs> like me who always still dream about winning the spelling bee, uh, and you should have stuck to your math and leave us spelling kids alone. Uh, <laughs> we're so proud of you. Um, where's that family picture? Like, obviously. All good students. Uh, do you have any plans for the future? Uh, what do you want to do when you grow up? <laughs> You're in I have eighth grade. But... No idea. No idea. See, I like that answer. I don't want a kid in eighth grade saying that they have their whole life planned out. You know, a lot of people don't even know. I don't know. I still don't know what I want. Well, to do. it seems like you're doing pretty well. Yeah, you know, you know. Uh, when you're not spelling, you told me you like basketball. Basketball, yeah. Uh, you like your math. What else? You got your uh, friends. Everything else? Play football. Look at you. You're a jock too. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I hey, play man. <laughs> Play the piano, too. Oh! <laughs> Will you anchor the news? Not probably, yet, no. You could probably do that. Not yet. It's not that hard. I do make a pretty good MC. Yeah, it's, not, it's, not that, it's not that hard. I think you could do it. This guy does it all. Uh, what do you expect in D.C.? Honestly. Have you been there before? I have. Uh, in, like, fourth grade, I went over Easter. Okay. It was pretty fun, cool. so probably. What are you, you going to do when you're there? 
Uh, aside from the spelling bee? I don't know, honestly. I mean, I think I like the monuments, museums, and yeah. stuff, so that would be cool to go back. The studying, I think this is in May, right? Yeah, in are May. You going to, are you guys going to cram? Uh, Dad's over there. He's got to dig up that app again. <laughs> Are you going to cram? Are you going to like hours and hours? Or are you going to settle down? Because, you know, those kids, the national level, they're like obsessed with this. Yeah. Thing. So I don't honestly know. We'll probably just stick to yeah. what we did for the original B. Oh, wow. It worked. It worked. Good for you. Uh, you want to shout anybody out? Any teachers? Any friends or anything? Go ahead. Uh, no one really. <laughs> <laughs> honestly, I don't have anyone. Dad for studying with me. Mom, Mom for being Mom. Mom yeah, for yeah. being there. Okay. Anybody else? Um, sister, no one I can think of. Your honestly. sister? Sister, I guess. Your yeah. sister? My brother. What is it called um, when, <clears throat> when you're not twins, but you're almost twins because you're so close? Because my sister's also 17 months apart. Very close. There's a word for it. There is? Irish twins. Huh? St. Patrick's Day. Irish twins. Huh. Look it up. It's a thing. Uh, epi, epi... Epihippus. Ep epihippus. Did you know that there's another word that's eohippus? I actually, I tried to... Afterwards, I tried to look up epihippus to get the exact definition again, and all that pulled up was eohippus. Everything that comes up is eohippus. Yeah, I was like, what and the it's heck? the same thing. What? The, it's a, yeah. It's a horse. Like, what's up with that? And what happened to that horse? So why doesn't it exist anymore? And why did they, they, they change the letter? <laughs> why did they change the letter? Why did they change the letter? Uh, look, Ben, we're super proud of you. You're going to represent us well in Washington, D.C. Uh, so. No matter what happens, we appreciate it. Thanks for coming in. Uh, you can probably do it. What, what's next? Uh, he can read it because he can now add a news anchor to his resume if you'd <laughs> like. Uh, let's see. What's next on here? Is it something on uh, heaven, tomorrow, the region? The, just you want to do a little prompter? sports? Just read off the prompter? Oh, yeah, I like it. What if you mean just read off the prompter? <laughs> You're making it look like it's that easy. Okay, I'm, ready? Watch this. Uh, Ben's going to take over the Fox 5 morning show because we're doing a little sports right now. You like rugby? Uh, sure. Say yes. You like rugby? Sure. <clears throat> yeah. Okay, go ahead. Let me see you read this. Ready? Uh, happening tomorrow. The Legion taking on LA in their home opener. Allison Edmonds, give us a look at how the team is getting ready. Ah! Milan with the go ahead try here. 25 24, New England. A successful 2023 campaign that ended in heartbreaking fashion. Yeah, one point, uh, one point loss um, at, the, at, the, at the final last year. That, that took, took us home. Like, it was, it was very, very tough. Um, but, you know, it's been six months since that game, so um, we're able to just move on. We realize it's 50% uh, new guys. You know, 50% of the guys weren't in that final. So, um, yeah, completely new team. We get to start on a clean slate and hopefully build from here. In building a key component for this year's Legion team, a lot of new faces, but also a lot of determination to finish what they started in last year's final. There's about 50% of the team that's that stayed. A lot of the players moved on to other countries or other MLR teams in America. So the guys that have been here last year certainly felt that the job's not finished and you know, it's a bit of a sore kind of summer after the season last year, so we haven't forgot. We've got to take that learning from that game last, last year, build what we've got with this squad this year and, and try and go one step further. Uh, the expectation on us is, is like always, like everyone's hunting us, everyone's trying to beat us, uh, but we're going to do everything we can possible to, to bring that shield home. The quest for the shield that continues this weekend here at Snapdragon, a place they hope continues to fill with fan support and appreciation for the game of rugby. We're very excited. We had a big offseason push where we went to over 100 schools trying to grow the game through uh, PE classes. So hopefully we get to see some of those kids out out, uh, out the stadium. Our mindset is um, to really perform at Snapdragon. Um, last season we didn't drop a game, so we're getting new fans to, to watch rugby and support us, so we want to um, perform in front of them. Al Snedman's Fox 5 Sports. All right. See, Ben Evans is over here. He did a, such a great job doing my job that he just stuck around. Uh, and congratulations. Go get him in the spelling bee. Thank you. All right, Thanks my man right me. there. Go Rams. Right? Yeah, yeah, we're the Rams, okay. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Checking.